Hi, I'm Drew, Application Engineer with SKF. In this video, we'll be covering armature testing with the PP85 Power Pack. This video assumes you have already connected the Baker DX tester to the Power Pack. Connect the ATF5000 armature test accessory to the Power Pack's armature test cables. Also connect the ATF5000 to the foot switch connection, or if you have the optional foot switch accessory, connect it now. Adjust the claws to match the separation of the commutator bars. Power on the power pack and the DX. Verify that the voltage control knob is set to zero. As a safety feature, anytime the test leads are connected to the high voltage power supply, the warning lamps on the power pack will light up and the words leads energized will appear on the DX's screen. If for any reason you need to quickly disconnect power to the test leads, press the equipment stop button. This can be reset by turning it. On the main screen of the DX, select the surge test. Select the power pack with the armature test feature. Select Armature Bar as your load type. Turn the Power Pack's function switch to the armature test position. Turn the Test Select switch to Lead 1. Apply the ATF5000 to the commutator and test the first coil by pressing and holding either of the ATF5000's test buttons or by using the foot switch. Turn up the voltage control knob until the desired test voltage is reached, for example, 500 volts. Adjust the DX's horizontal scale so that the waveform is shown across most or all of the screen. Release the test button. Set this first waveform as a reference, which will be the baseline for the EAR. Continue testing coils by moving around the commutator. The EAR graph in the lower right part of the screen is a great tool for identifying if a coil's response differs substantially from the first coil you tested. If you find a bad coil, the waveform will look different, and the EAR bar will vary in height. You can erase this test from the results if you wish by pressing the delete button. When you've completed the testing, press the save data button on the DX, and use the on-screen keyboard to name the test record and the reference data file. Turn the voltage control knob back to zero. Finally, turn the test select switch to the lead's ground position. Okay, so that concludes the armature testing with the PP85. If you have any uh, further questions, feel free to visit us at skf.com forward slash emcm and click on support. Thanks for watching.